Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would bring you on a May tour of the garden to show how things are progressing. This is the outside garden bed that I have. I have some perennials planted in here this year that are um, coming in nicely. Uh, and this is my peony. I um, am seeing blooms forming on this, buds forming on this this year. Last year it didn't bloom at all, so it's very exciting to see all of these buds on it this year. And inside the garden, I have uh, the garden beds um, that are starting to get filled for the summer. This first bed here is the strawberry bed, and there's lots of blooms on here. And then even some of the blooms have started to form little teeny tiny strawberries. So we'll sh we should be picking strawberries in June. This bed uh, is one of the two tulip beds that I did this year. And um, they are pretty much all picked out at this point, um, just waiting for those leaves to die back a little bit. Um, I'm going to be planting my tomatoes in this bed. And then you can see the rest of the beds there. Um, a lot of them have things planted in them. Some of them are still a little bit empty yet, but I still have lots of time and lots of things to plant in their space. The uh, bed next to the strawberries has some specialty tulips in it. Um, and you can see a lot of them aren't even ready to be harvested yet, which is nice. They are some late varieties. And um, these pink ones here are so beautiful. They're like a double fringed tulip. And they're so pretty. I'll put the name of the variety in the description box below. I'll probably be picking these tomorrow just to enjoy here in the house for myself. So pretty. And um, next to that bed is this one here, um, which is being flanked by this obnoxious grass that I need to get out of, uh, away from the garden. But I have some sweet peas in here, um, snap peas I should say, and um, some allium there on the end. There's spinach and radishes. And on this side of the bed, there's three rows of sparsely um, germinated carrots. So I think I need to fill in the spaces here in this bed with maybe some radishes or some lettuce. And then I think I need to decide um, what to do in the extra spaces there. And there you can see the beds from this angle. This bed has uh, three rows of, again, sparsely germinated carrots, some rows of sparsely germinated um, lettuces, and then there's some kale and some um, bush beans in there as well. This bed is decorative corn and some uh, small sweet corn, as well as some companion planted lettuces and snapdragons. And then this bed is bush beans and snapdragons down the center, um, and I haven't planted anything on the um, right half of the bed yet. I do have some volunteer sunflowers down on the ground or along some of the beds, so that's kind of fun. And then this bed is um, broccoli rabi. Um, on the right and the left two rows were um, cauliflower and the broccoli has started to bolt so I might be pulling that out and planting something else in its place. Never mind the rubber snake, it's plastic. <laughs> this bed is mostly empty. I do have cucumbers on the trellises um, and some volunteer bachelor buttons there along the edge. Here's another look at that um, tulip bed that I'm waiting to die back a little bit. And I do have a perennial um, bed here as well. This is on the old outside edge of the garden and it is now on the inside of the garden with my cut flower rows. So there are I believe 10 rows um, of flowers here. All of them have different things in them. Uh, you can see the first row there. I didn't put any weed barrier down. I'm just trying that row this year um, as an experiment. But it has all different kinds of things planted in it. It has some bells of Ireland, uh, blue plurum, uh, this is Feverfew, and then it has some Sweet William at the end. And then the next row is uh, Snapdragons. So some of those um, have died off and I need to replace them with new uh, plants, but uh, for the most part they're looking really great. The next row is Status, various different colors of Status, and then there's some straw flower down at the far end. This is the first bloom in the garden, and this is some pink and blue salvia. So I'm going to be picking these, and then hopefully that will send up some more bloom spikes. This is um, azuratum, and then sweet annie, and then I have some gumfrina, and uh, more straw flowers, and pincushion flowers towards the end. These are the straw flowers. They look great. And then the next bed is some zinnias. I have different varieties here, um, as well as different colors. 
Um, some of them, though, got a little bit of um, some cold damage night before last. Um, and uh, here you can see some of the leaves um, look a little worse for wear. But I think if I um, snip these off, they'll be just fine. They'll come in just fine. So you can see this one is fine. Um, but every so often there was one plant that kind of took a hit uh, with some cold that we had last, last night before last, I think. And this is Crespedia, um, followed by some more zinnias. I have um, lots of different zinnias planted. And at the end of the beds, too, I still have more room that I can plant some additional plants. The next row is uh, more Cosmos than any one person needs, but um, they came in so nicely. Um, so I had room to plant them, so I planted them. Most of these are double click series, um, and there's all different kinds of double click. There's the cranberry, the white, um, there's the bicolor, and I think there's a, a medium or mid-tone pink as well. But they, they just look so beautiful. This one is the first one that's gonna bloom, and this is gonna be a double click white. And then I have all kinds of celosia as well. These are mostly from Florette, but there's also some flamingo feather uh, varieties in here as well. And then down here at the very, very bottom, you can just barely see it now, it's out of frame. Um, that is the start of my sunflower bed. And then I have two rows of dahlias that have two rows of dahlias in them. So four rows total. Um, and actually, I think that makes 11 beds in this garden um, because I did have to dig out that um, extra space there for the sunflowers since I ran out of room <laughs> with the dahlias. But there you can see um, the progress on the raised beds. And then along the inside of the garden, on the front side, I have this um, bed as well. This is perennials. And then in the middle, I had some extra snapdragons. And so I kind of created a drift of snapdragons around this nine bark. Um, so that everything here will fill in nicely and then next year where those snapdragons are, if that nine bark is a little bit bigger, um, that will be a good space for it to have um, next year and not to have worrying about uh, some competing perennials. So thank you so much for joining me in the garden today. It's been a lot of work, um, but I've enjoyed it so much and I can't wait for all these things to bloom. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.